Happy New Year everyone, this is Wimi. Revoke.cash saw a massive overhaul and we are updating our tutorial. What to do and what to look out for if you've just been scammed or if you signed something malicious. You go to revoke.cash and enter your ENS address or your wallet address right into this search bar. You will then be seeing the streamlined table interface which now includes all of your allowances to ERC20s, ERC721s, ERC1155 tokens and so on. It's displayed here, you can see it's a token or it's an NFT. So with the latest update you are now able to sort and you can sort by last update newest to oldest and this way you see what allowances you signed latest. Which helps immensely if you just signed a malicious transaction and it shows up on top of here because it's last updated and then it's the first entry you get. Revoke.cash also allows you to switch between multiple chains. You would then click on the Ethereum logo and then switch your chain to Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Arbitrum or whatever chain you're using. Let's look at a compromised wallet. First you want to sort by last updated newest to oldest and then you will see something like this. There might be less allowances in your wallet but to showcase this it's pretty good. This wallet has some open allowances to MetaMask to their swap service and to OpenSea and to OpenSea Old. By the way, you can safely remove the OpenSea Old permissions. And then it got a bunch of allowances to a random wallet address that is not marked as an authorized spender with a name tag on revoke.cash. And this is most likely going to be a scam wallet because this one has more than one collection allowed. As we can see on the left side, it's four actually in a very, very short time frame. And most of the time, those are malicious approvals that you gave out on a fake Mint website, for example. Now that you identified the approval you want to remove, you would connect your wallet in the upper right. And you can see we're connected now. And then you would be looking for the approval you want to remove. Let's say we want to remove the Lazy Lions permission here. We would click on Revoke on the right side. And then you will be getting prompted with this pop-up. If you've updated your MetaMask to the latest version, this should say revoke permissions to access all of your lazy lines. If not, you might want to view the full transaction details or click on the data tab. Doing that shows you this window and it says, hey, revoke.cash may access and spend this asset. But what we're actually doing is we're calling the function set approval for all and setting it to false. So basically nulling it. And if you really want to confirm that, you would then click on confirm and then after a short time frame, your allowance or approval for this asset would be removed. Revoking is a transaction that costs a small gas fee, as you can see here. So you have to pay the little gas fee to revoke an approval. Quick last heads up, the revoke.cash website has actually now a dark mode. If you scroll down and click on system on the right and click to dark, the website will then be displayed in all Black. And by the way, check out the rogue.cash browser extension if you haven't and if you're a rookie in the Web3 space, this could save your assets. Stay safe, everyone. See ya.